Hi, this is Micah from The Dine Company, here today to show you how to clean the Manitowoc Neo undercounter ice machine. Alright, let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is open the door to check if there's any ice on the evaporator currently. If there is, you can simply power down the machine by holding down the power button and then waiting for the ice to fall off the evaporator. The next step before you begin the cleaning process will be to remove the ice from the bin completely. Next, to begin the cleaning process, simply push and hold the cleaning button for three seconds. You'll know that the ice machine is in cleaning mode when you see this light illuminated. Once the cleaning process begins, the water trough will begin to fill with water and then water will begin to cascade over the evaporator. This is when we'll introduce our Manitowoc cleaning solution. Now I'll pour the solution into the water trough. I'm going to use about two ounces. I'm going to pour it right here. Now what's happening now with the ice machine is that the water is mixed with the cleaning solution and the water pump is picking up the water and it's going through the water distribution tube at the top and the water is cascading down over the evaporator and that's how the ice machine runs the self-cleaning process. The cleaning process will run for about 22 minutes before it's complete. After the cleaning cycle is complete, the ice machine will automatically return itself to ice making mode. Now that the automatic cleaning cycle is complete, we will now go over how to clean the components of the undercounter ice machine. The first step is to remove the water distribution tube, which is held in place by two thumb screws, located here and here. The next step is to remove the baffle, which is held in place by a thumb screw here. Next, remove the water trough. First by removing the floats with these clips. And then by removing the thumb screws here and here. Finally, we will remove the floats. By removing the grommets and pulling the leads through. Detach the floats by disconnecting the electrical leads here. Now that the components are disassembled, we will now move them to the wash basin for cleaning. To reassemble the components, simply follow the disassembly in reverse order. While the machine is disassembled, you can take this opportunity to clean the ice bin. I'm going to use a dilution of Mantuak ice machine cleaner and water, about one ounce per, of cleaner per 16 ounces of water. To clean the components, we've moved our components to the wash basin and we're using a mixture of water and Manitowoc cleaning solution. In this instance, it's about 16 ounces of Manitowoc cleaning solution to a gallon of water. So we'll simply allow the components to soak. The water trough, the baffle, the water distribution tube, and also the floats. But you want to be careful on the floats to not get the electrical leads wet. So I'm going to place something on top of them to keep the leads out of the water. You want to allow these components to soak for a while. If you like, you can let them soak while you clean the ice bin. Once they've soaked after a while, you can use a soft sponge and clean the components. And 
just set them out to air dry. You can find a full lineup of Manitowoc ice machines at our store at 3110 Preston Highway in Louisville, Kentucky. You can also shop online at DineCompany.com.